one of them. <laughs> My name is Pacha. It comes from the word Pachamama, meaning Mother Earth in the Quechua language, a culture that holds nature as sacred and honors, protects, and celebrates all life. So I was born in Cotacachi, a small town in the middle of the Ecuadorian Andes. So this is the house that I was born in. I feel like just this immersion with nature, it's definitely solidified va like values and beliefs and things that I find important. I remember the full adventure of getting to our property in the deep cloud forest. It used to take us two hours in a crammed full bus down the winding road. The forest was constantly changing as the altitude dropped until you would arrive at La Florida, a cloud forest reserve supported by ecotourism and an organic coffee farm. So we made it to La Florida and let's go see if Carlos is home. Wow! Oh, Hi! <laughs> How are you? <laughs> Long time. <laughs> so our property, we named it El Milagro, the miracle. Our first house was a, a wooden mud house with sugarcane leaves for the roof and no windows, no electricity. It was simple. It's one of the best memories of my childhood. This is the track down to our El Milagro. If you keep following the river down that mountain all the way to the sea, you'll eventually find your way to Ecuador's Pacific coast and the eco-city of Bahia de Caracas. That's where my mom met my father, Marcelo Luque, helping protect and regenerate the mangrove forests. He's also a forest and community activist and manages Seto Seco, the dry tropical forest reserve on the outskirts of town. <laughs> there are no words to describe the feeling of being held by them. Aunties, uncles, cousins, nephews, nieces, accepted no matter what in a space of unconditional love. My dad cares for his mom, Zoella, who cares for everyone else and she makes the best yuca bread and biche in town. My godmother, Nicola Mears, has dedicated her life to healing the earth, starting Rio Machacho with her partner, Dario, to demonstrate and teach permaculture and sustainable living. This is tagua, or vegetable ivory, a seed from a native palm that you can carve and dye to make all sorts of things, like jewellery, buttons, tags, and to help communities sustain themselves without needing to clear the forest. Being on the Pacific coast means there's waves, lots and lots of waves, and many of them are isolated and remote and have hardly anyone else in the lineup, except a pelican or two. culture has been growing quickly here and it's been so exciting to be a part of the community movement, especially in Bahia, as a part of a new generation reconnecting with and looking after the ocean. And of course, getting more girls out there. <laughs> It was amazing to see the support coming from the mayor of Bahia on the visit. <laughs> the experiences we had by the age of seven, I just 
want to properly thank mum for for giving us this incredible introduction to who we are as people. So I suppose home to me is more than than a house, you know. It's it's feelings, it's these memories, it's people, it's the laughter of family and this overall love for our planet and nature.